an unusual pairing, the governor and Taylor Hicks. But, <laughs> hey, but you know, as long as they had fun. That's Taylor, right. Taylor gets along with everybody, so he could, yeah. uh, he could have, have anybody have a great time. Absolutely, so. we love that. Okay, you guys, we've got uh, some weather to talk about here over the, uh, the next oh, 12 to 24 hours with uh, the threat for some strong to possibly severe storms in our area here for later on tonight and into the overnight hours. So uh, again, the risk map really hasn't changed. Uh, the weather really does not look good today. It, uh, it certainly looks life threatening back to our west to through much of Mississippi where they do have a moderate risk uh, for severe storms. You can see the enhanced risk it does nudge into our extreme northwestern counties uh, for places like uh, Hamilton, Hackleburg, Haleyville, Guin, and then down toward Detroit uh, in Seligent. And then much of the rest of the area is under a slight risk and then a uh, marginal risk as you come further east. Damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado, and again, the highest likelihood of seeing some severe storms will be up here across the extreme northwestern corner of the state as the storms will be weakening as they push south and east during the overnight period. And so we think the earliest that we'll see some severe weather today will be 8 o'clock this evening for the northwestern counties and then shifting south and east with time. All of this will be out of here by 6 a.m. and probably even a little bit quicker than that, maybe as early as 3 or 4 o'clock uh, in the early morning hours on Thursday. But we want to make sure that everybody is aware and they have their NOAA weather radio and their phones charged to go so that you can get alerts. Uh, if they are issued later on tonight through the overnight. This is 7 a.m. So we actually have some showers ongoing right now and some thunderstorms back into Mississippi. And you'll notice on the future cast, those will continue to push into northwest Alabama, but our forecast to weaken with time. So I do think for areas along north and west of 5920 this morning, you'll have a, a decent shot at getting some rain and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. And then after about 10 o'clock, a lot of that weakens. And I think a good portion of the day today is going to be rain free. Winds will pick up, temperatures will recover into the 80s, and then we'll start to watch those storms developing back to our west this afternoon into Mississippi and how they move into northwest Alabama. Again, this is a 9 o'clock. You can see them pushing into the northwestern corner of the state by 10, 11 o'clock. Most of them are still just to the north and west of 5920, but reaching the interstate as we head closer to midnight. This is 2 a.m. on Thursday morning, and it's really going to be the leading edge of this line uh, that we could see some severe storms, those strong winds, a possible tornado, but you'll notice it certainly looks a less organized as it shifts into southeast Alabama later on uh, on Thursday morning. So temperatures today, low 80s. We'll deal with some rain and thunderstorms this morning, and then we'll have that threat for a few severe storms tonight through the overnight period, and then the chance for showers does come back over the weekends. Back to you. All right, thanks, Steph, and it is an impact day, so make sure you download our WVTM 13 app to receive the latest weather alerts to stay in the loop around the clock. You're watching WVTM 13 News.